honey, that was such a great trip to Macintosh. We got to help so many people. Mommy, Daddy, I have diarrhea. I think I'm going to throw up. Honey, you grab the bucket and you're going to need to call the doctor. Renee? Oh yeah, it was awesome. We did a bunch of mission work with our church, and it was Renee's first time out of the country, but you know, they really needed a lot of work. I know, so I've heard stories. I'm going to have to send a sample of her stool to the lab. What has she been experiencing? Oh, well she's had this uh, non-stop, like, watery diarrhea, mm -hmm. and uh, it's kind of nasty just thinking about it, mm -hmm. um, but she's also thrown up a couple times, and, and uh, we don't know what to do. Okay. Well, I think she might have traveler's diarrhea. She will have developed it in a Macintosh. It's pretty common for young children to develop it in underprivileged countries. It comes from the cross-contamination of fecal matter with food or water. It should go away within the next week, but I'll call you once we get the results and we can discuss medications from there. We'll be using a DNA probe test to diagnose her. What we do is we culture the bacteria from the stool and um, within the sample, we look for enterotoxins, LT and ST, which are heat stable and heat label. It's difficult to culture, and that's why I have to send it over to the lab. But for now, take her home, make sure she gets plenty of water, and that um, she replaces all the fluids she lost. So it, could come, it could become pretty serious if she doesn't replenish all her fluids. Okay. Okay. Well, if it's what you're talking about, how serious do you think? As long as she stays hydrated, it'll be completely fine. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Doctor. No problem. Oh my gosh, Dad, I really gotta go. Go, Renee, go! Diarrhea, diarrhea. When your stomach hurts and you feel a little squirt. Diarrhea, diarrhea. Sitting on the pond and you're doing it a lot. Some people think it's fun. Enterotoxigenic E. coli is most commonly found in third world countries. The bacterium latches onto the surface of an intestinal cell using pili and then injects receptor proteins into the intestinal cell. Then the cell forms a pedestal for bacterium and infection follows. The body has gastric acid, which is an acidic digestive fluid that, which digests some bacteria, as well as bowel transit time, which is the time it takes for food to move through your body from the mouth to the end of your intestines, but both are avoided by E. coli which has a capsule composed of sialic acid, giving it an antigenic disguise. When the E. coli attaches to the intestinal wall, they bring bacterial proteins into the cell, which in turn brings specific proteins that normally shape the cell. This includes the enterotoxins LT and ST, which in one or both could be produced. They both colonize the mucosal surface of the small intestine, which then causes the intestine to create the excessive fluid. This leads to the E. coli exiting the, bo the body through diarrhea. Hello. Hi, Anna. Um, how's, how's Renee doing? Oh, she's doing okay. Um, you know, she's been drinking lots of water, but she still has diarrhea pretty bad. Okay. Um, well, it looks like we got the lab results back, and she has enterotoxigenic E. coli, which is just diarrhea, as I thought. Okay. So are there any like medications or antibiotics she could take? All she can really do is drink clear liquids like water. This bacteria is resistant to antibiotics. If you want, you can try giving her an over-the-counter rehydration salt or electrolyte. If okay, the diarrhea so like Gatorade or something, would that work? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay.
if the, but if the diarrhea worsens or doesn't clear it within the next few days, immediately take her to the hospital so that we can get her an IV to deliver liquids into her system more quickly okay. so that she doesn't just become more dehydrated. Gotcha. Okay. Um, is there something we could have done to prevent this or like so that we know for next time? It's actually mostly out of your control. You would just need to make sure that you wash your hands before and after handling meats as well as making sure that it's prepared on clean surfaces and cooked thoroughly. Oh, and um, make sure that you're drinking purified or boiled water so that feces doesn't contaminate it. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all your help. I really appreciate it. No problem. I hope Renee feels better. Thanks. Me too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Sitting on the pond and you're doing it a lot.